How's it going everyone? In this video I want to take a look at some physical game deals running right now. Also want to cover a couple of other things. Free PlayStation Plus Online Multiplayer Weekend has been announced and the new DualSense controllers are live for pre-order. The various colors that is. Want to note something about that at the end of this video but more on that in just a little bit. First of all some deals available on Amazon. Battlefield 2042 is seeing I believe its steepest discount yet. The game came out on PlayStation 5 for $70. It is 47% off for $36. $7 as well as a PlayStation 4 copy. You can get that for $34, so that's a little bit cheaper. That, uh, it's a pretty decent deal given that this is the deepest discount on the game. The game itself, a very, very mixed reception to say the least. Uh, I've been talking to some friends and some of my friends are having fun with the game. Uh, as far as multiplayer shooters go, like, I talked a lot about Battlefield 2042 being that game to kind of revitalize my love for first person shooters. Believe it or not, um, Halo Infinite is the game I'm playing more so than Battlefield 2042. I haven't even sunk that much time into the game, but uh, I've played quite a bit of Halo Infinite and I have my issues with Halo Infinite as well, but for some reason i've been having just a lot of fun with that game um 2042 on the other hand you know i do foresee it getting cheaper and cheaper as the months go on i mean that's generally that's not rocket science if you guys didn't pick up on that but uh yeah i could see it even get act added to like origin access ea play um sometime uh, next year like pretty in the early portion of next year even like within the first six months but that might be a little bit of a stretch but nevertheless the fact that it's already down to 37 dollars obviously um it's not going to be a game where i don't think you should be dropping 70 or 60 dollars on it anymore if it's already going down to 37 dollars now on a random you know december day probably means it's gonna see quite a few discounts in the future as well so we'll see how that turns out if you do want the game it's available at that price point assassin's creed valhalla is getting some new content do want to mention that that's 14.99 Take it for what you will. It's AC Valhalla. You probably know at this point my feelings on Assassin's Creed these days. I'm not really that big into it anymore. And Assassin's Creed used to be one of my favorite franchises. But Valhalla is getting a bunch of additional content. And I get that that's probably the reasoning for this game getting cheaper. They want to sell you the game for $15. And hopefully, ultimately, you'll end up buying the additional content. And they'll generate more revenue that way. Not a bad strategy. I mean, it's kind of been the Ubisoft MO for a while now that uh, these games get really, really cheap. Although Far Cry 6 has held up in value. Far Cry, generally speaking, is the one franchise from Ubisoft that does hold value a little bit longer. But AC Valhalla, $15 over on Amazon. On GameStop, couple things to note here. First of all, Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, that's DQ11S. That is $14.99. Great JRPG here. Strong recommendation if you want a traditional classic JRPG. This is a pretty good one. Decent story. You know, visuals aren't anything to write home about per se, but that's not why you're getting into the game. It's got a bit of depth to it, and I think $15 is pretty good on that. Should also note, over at GameStop, they are doing a buy three, get two free on games south of $20 that are pre-owned. Now, you might be thinking that's kind of a meme sale. But no, there's actually some really good stuff, like Resident Evil Village is at $19.99, Last of Us Part 2 is at $18.99, Resident Evil 3 Remake is at $18.99. Like, if you were to grab uh, three games that are all, you know, 19 to 20 bucks, what would that be? You buy three, okay, five games in total, you'll end up spending $60 because two of those are going to be free. And uh, 60 divided by five, I believe that would be $12 a pop. $12 a pop for games like Resident Evil Village, Last of Us Part Two, Resident Evil 3. Um, that sounds pretty darn good to me, all things considered. Then they do have deals like God of War for $8. Uh, MLB The Show 21, if you want to check that out, that's $19. Ghost of Tsushima's on there, that's $19. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim is on there, that's $19 as well. Little Nightmares 2 is $19. Uh, Resident Evil 2 is 16 Dark Souls Remastered is 14 Spyro Reignited Trilogy is 19.99. Last of Us Remastered is seven bucks. I mean, they actually have some pretty decent options if you do want to take advantage of this buy three get two free sale. And uh, going through it even more, MK11 12 bucks, Uncharted 4 five dollars, Watch Dogs Legion is 14, Mafia Definitive Edition is 14, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is 19. Um. Yeah, there's some actual really, really solid deals here if you do want to pick up five games. I know, like, not everybody may be in the market to pick up five games, but, uh... Yeah, definitely, if you do want to, you know, expand your collection a little bit, Yakuza Like a Dragon is 19 as well. I'm just going through each page. Control Ultimate Edition is uh, 19 if you missed out on the plus release of that. Bioshock the Collection is 11, so mix and match, and you can actually end up uh, scoring pretty nicely with this sale that is going on right now. So I'll leave a link to that as well. 
Pre-owned games, in my experience with GameStop, uh, always come in relatively good condition. There has been like a time or two where I didn't get the box and manual with it um, on PlayStation games. Uh, that was a bit annoying, but for the most part, I do usually get the case and manual, so that's ni nice. And I just saw Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. That's 15 as well, so not a bad deal on that. Moving on from that, free PlayStation Plus online multiplayer weekend has been announced. Access to online gaming will be offered without charge from December 18th until the 19th. This will allow you to play online multiplayer games. You play, you know, Battlefield, if you pick that up, you can play whatever game, Grand Theft Auto 5 etc 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 you guys know the deal uh the benefits of the you know like game offerings those aren't going to be free of course but uh the online multiplayer will be free for a weekend really online multiplayer should be free across the board in my opinion uh that's a debate for another day i'm sure most of you guys probably agree with me on that i remember the days of ps plus back on playstation 3 where you know not everybody would sign up to it but you would just sign up to get the game offerings and the game offerings were pretty darn good and then they made a mandatory with the playstation for and obviously uh that that wasn't received very well by a lot of people however uh you know they got like 33 million or 39 million subscribers or something like that just an absolutely absurd amount and you'd be surprised how many people don't go for like the 30 dollars during black friday or whatever 35 dollars um and they go month to month paying 10 dollars a month um i don't think it's like the majority of subscribers but i do think people would be like kind of stunned at like yeah, that, that's just me speculating, of course, but I think people would be kind of stunned uh, if we actually did get those numbers. But uh, nonetheless, that'll be from December 18th until the 19th. And also, do you want to note that the DualSense controllers are live right now for pre-order? These are the new colors. Uh, the Starlight Blue one is up on uh, Best Buy. They are $75. Now, um... I don't know if in history Sony would charge more for different colored controllers. I want to say they didn't, but don't hold me to that because uh, the regular DualSense wireless controller, the Midnight Black, I have that pulled up here, that is $70, which is still crazy, crazy expensive for a controller. You can get the uh, the white controller as well, the one that comes with the console itself. That's $70 on top of that. That's crazy expensive for a controller, but... Uh, initially, when uh, the PS5 got announced and we saw the DualSense controller, honestly, I thought it was going to be more. But $75 is still absurd. Like, why is it $5 more? Why couldn't we just stick with the $70 price tag? You guys are still probably going to make a boatload of cash off of it. Why Why do we need the $5 price tag? Which, you know, it's 5 bucks, but still, that stuff's going to add up. It's, it's going to be, like, not too long until we get, like, $80 controllers. Like, $80 controllers after you pay, like, tax and whatnot? I mean, that's just absolutely absurd. Dropping that kind of cash on a controller but nonetheless did want to note that those are live for pre-order right now and that's gonna do it for me again some pretty good deals running right now check them out um you know that buy three get two free sale i think is actually pretty solid so let me know what you guys think about that that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.